Hey friends, um, so today what do I have for you? Uh, let me see. So today we're going to do a coastal scene. Let me fix this a little bit better. We're going to do a coastal scene, a uh, painting sailboat. So let me show you what we got. All right. So what I have here is an eight by 10 stretch canvas. And let me show you the colors that I have. Uh, for you, for those of you who are just joining me right now, uh, I'm going to be doing a coastal scene. This one. Ta-da! Okay? Particularly that sailboat. The background, we're going to change it up. I'm going to simplify this painting, okay? We're not going to do anything to uh, elaborate. So this is going to be an acrylics. I have an 8x10 stretch canvas. And for the colors, I have cad yellow, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, and White. So, <clears throat> let's start. So, basically, if you're new to my channel, how I paint is mainly in a very loose style, okay? Uh, very, like, impressionistic kind of painting. For those of you that want to learn, you know, how to paint fast, loose, and, you know, still have... Uh, be able to show uh, no this is not going to be open acrylics it's going to be regular heavy body acrylics um, and like I said it's going to be like a fast loose fa uh, fast loose painting so as you can see I toned my background so I'm going to take a little bit of blue uh, so let me just draw this boat out here for a minute um, it's going to make it let's offset it a little bit this way like that, and I'm gonna come down. Let's see, like that, then. Like this comes down the bow and like that okay now let me quickly draw the sails sometimes you really don't need a detailed painting just something loose you know to guide you just a little guidance that's all you need let me see you don't have to be an expert at drawing Okay. And there's like a human right here. So the cell, let's go. Like I said, I'm keeping that painting, that these strokes pretty loose. So basically it's going to be like my wash. All right. And there's a delineation right here somewhere. All right, something like that. And then eventually we'll do like, a, let's see, like a background. Like a little landscape in the back. There you go. That should be good enough of a drawing. All right. 
Uh, first brush I'm going to take is going to be a small flat number four. And I'm going to start working maybe on the boat here a little bit and then just do the shadows. Get straight down to it. Um, all right, so I have like an ultramarine blue. Let me show you the picture one more time. All right. See it once, now it's gone. All right. So to make that dark blue hull, I make ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Now you gotta remember one thing about acrylics is that acrylics does not cover as well as oils. So don't worry if on the first pass all your darks aren't covered the way you want them to be. So it's just the nature of acrylics. There you go. But the good part is that um, these semi-transparent colors come in handy when uh, luminosity comes into play. Because all these colors are basically semi-transparent. And the reason is, is because, like I said, the luminosity, I, I start with that because if you start out with... Uh, opaque colors your colors are going to be very muddy and not as bright or as should i say uh chromatic as you want to be okay because uh, you have like m more than one pigment um mixed in with uh opaque colors Okay. Oh, you're welcome. All right. It's going to look correct in a minute here. Let me... The way the boat's laying. All right. Let me get the background. We're just going to sketch in like a loose background scene here. I'm just going to make this up. I'm not going to follow the picture. All right. Hell, we might even put palm trees or something back here. We'll see. Uh, maybe a lighthouse. Who knows? Just use your imagination. You don't have to be a a slave to your um, reference photo. Actually, this has to come a little bit more this way. There you go. I like that better. Okay. How to fix that. All right. Let's work on that sky a little bit. Uh, let's go ultramarine blue white uh you know what let's use a little bit of naples yellow lately i've been into the naples yellow for some reason i don't use that color very often but when i do i like it Cover that background really quick. Again, just a reminder to all those that are joining me, this is a loose painting. Normally I would use a bigger brush for this, but um, I don't want, um, I just didn't feel, to be honest, I just didn't feel like changing brushes and I know what I'm heading for, so I'm not really too concerned.
and it's okay when you paint in this style of impression uh, this impressionistic style to leave some of the background um, of the tone canvas showing through it's okay gives it a nice style there All right, let's put more Naples yellow. Whoops. Uh, let's put a little bit of crimson and Naples yellow. Warm that up a little bit. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday afternoon here. And I thank you for taking the time to watch me paint live. There you go. Coming together kind of quickly. Um, we might even put a lighthouse here. Uh, we'll see. Oh, Alberta. How cold is it up there? All right, let's start with the water. Let's do some ultramarine blue. Maybe a hint of Naples yellow. A little bit of burnt sienna. Just to... Mute the color. The reason I put the burnt sienna is to mute the color a little bit. If you feel like your paints are sticking, Add a little bit more water to your brush. It's okay if your colors are a little bit dark in the beginning. Because we're going to put sparkles in that water too. There you go. Let's start adding some Naples yellow. I messed up the back of that boat here a little bit. That's okay. We we'll fixed that afterwards. So as I'm coming forward, the colors are a little bit lighter. We're going to put sparkles in that water. So in order to do that, I'm going to need the, the water to be a little bit on a darker side. And plus when I'm going to put these ripples, In the water, I need the background to be a little bit dark so that you'll be able to see the ripples. Oh, you're welcome, Dorothy. And 
let me see we're gonna add some waves wave patterns here in a few minutes I'm gonna let this set up a little bit um, let me see let me change brushes here uh, this is a filbert that I'm going to be using now, a number two filbert. There's some light parts of the cells that's reflecting in the water. So we're going to use a uh, continue on with that Naples yellow. The good thing about using um, a limited palette is that you won't be confused about what colors to use because you're only limited to a certain amount of colors and you better make it work, you know. And everything will work in harmony on top of that. You harmonize the whole painting by doing so. Let me see that's a little bit too bright let me tone it down a little bit gray it down by using a little bit of red and blue there you go toning it down let some of that blue come in Some of the ripples, just quick and loose, quick and fast. Don't overthink it. That's where a lot of people go wrong. They overthink the painting. Now the, the boat's putting a little dark cast shadow at the bottom. So kind of like here. Let me show you the picture again. And folks, you know, it helps me when you uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button. So, and when you hit the notification as well, it will notify you every time that I start doing a demo like this some a lot of times i don't advertise i'm gonna do a demo because i just start doing it on a whim i'm just like that you know it's, whenever it takes me it just moves me to do a painting i just start and sometimes you know, i just want to take you along with me and i apologize if i don't give enough of a notice and i'm guilty for that it's just, you know, one of, I'm one of those people that, you know, it's how I work, I guess. More yellow. I'm just uh, varying my greens, dark, light. Twenty Celsius. <whistles> okay, well, I'm glad I'm not there. My goodness. So you can tell this is like um, late evening. This picture was taken on a late evening because look at the cast shadow. It's like really long. And um, so from what I see in the picture, it looks like the sun is come, hitting from this direction. So, all right. Um, so I'm going to keep this fairly dark. Let me do some crazy stuff back here, and then we'll start with the sails and probably work on the boat a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to lighten up the side of this boat just a little bit. A little bit of blue, a little uh, hint of white, maybe a little burnt 
umber. Now, don't forget with acrylics, they dry darker than what you initially. set it for okay let's uh, work on his background a little bit more let's pretend there's trees back there some ultramarine blue a little bit of yellow a little bit of burnt sienna uh, maybe a little bit of red let me see what can we do here yep just like that uh, let's vary it up a little bit put more red maybe a little bit more burnt umber so give some dark greens la -li la -li la just like that now the darker you make the background the closer that background will seem to be okay so let me just add a little bit more blue so don't forget that dark colors tend to come more forward lighter colors more back so i'm adding a little bit more blue because i want to give it a little bit of distance like some of these trees back here give some actually a little bit more blue i want to give it distance so usually yellow and red are the first colors to drop when you look at a distance. I know there's got to be a science genius amongst you guys to know why that is as far as the atmosphere goes. So I'll let them explain to you in the comments. There you go. That looks a little bit further back. Bring that horizon down a little bit, make it a little bit more straight. There you go. Let's put a little bit of a beach, just a little bit of a beach. Let me just use that Naples yellow with a lot of white. Maybe a little bit of sienna, just a, or umber really. Tone it down. Let's do that, let's just put like, a little faint view of whatever a beach here there you go just like that see how quick and loose you can get with this all right um all right let me start painting that little cabin when you put your uh, primary colors together yellow red and blue all together you will have a gray down color okay so let me just do that cabin right here And the reason why it's you don't see it very light it's kind of under shadow but we're gonna put the lights afterwards let me fix part of this if you guys hear a humming noise in the background um, that's because I got the I'm in my garage and the AC is on at the same time so let me oops All right, let's start working on the cells. All right, so I got this delineation here and I got another one up here. All right, let's work on this. So let's do, Naples yellow, a little bit of yellow, 
a little bit of burnt umber because burnt umber has a little bit of a red tinge to it a lot of white Basically what we're doing here is painting the light going through the cells. It's a little bit more on the red side over here. More bluish red. I could always change the, the colors afterwards. Actually, there's a little bit more blue and a little bit more crimson, maybe a hint. And the reason why I just put Naples yellow to that purple is gonna, it's gonna gray it down. change very much but it's okay now my darkest colors are going to go right here so it's going to be ultramarine blue alizarin crimson a little bit of naples yellow to uh gray down the color so remember purple and yellow they make a gray when you add white to it see how it's already graying down even a little bit more So um, what I'm doing basically is changing the value. That's too dark. When you compare it to that yellow, I just wanted like two, two shades darker than this yellow, like or two values darker. How do I clean that palette? No, just water. Sometimes you could just leave water on it, just lay flat, and then the paint comes off. This is one of these palettes where it looks, you see? The, the paint just, oh, let me hold, right here. Look, you see? The paint just comes off. You don't even need water. But if you have like stubborn paint, you could just use water. Let it sit for like not even five minutes. And then they'll, uh, actually I need to add more ye Naples yellow, more white. It's basically the reflection of, of the cells. Um, Actually, this cell should have been a little bit lower. 
That's all right. The guy's head's going to be there in a few minutes. And then there's a darker... There's a darker part of the cell here. If your brush starts dragging, add water. And you will get cleaner lines. All right. So while this is still drying, it is kind of dry, really. Um, let me start by, let me add some cerulean blue to all this. I got cerulean blue here. All right. Let's start doing, lighten up some of this, have some wave action. So cerulean blue, let me go with a little bit of Naples yellow and white. Okay. There is a lighter area back here. Now the further back, uh, you won't have much of a ripple action because you're looking at a distance. But as you come forward, you know, you could start making little ripples here, there. And as you get closer, your ripples are going to be further apart from each other. As opposed to like when you get to the back, they're usually closer together. Okay? Just a little tip. Let me add a little bit of Naples yellow to that. Give a little bit of a greenish tinge. Remember, acrylics will dry darker. So make sure to adjust for that. There you go, these little ripples. And in a minute now, we're going to start getting a little bit into the details of things. Um, I said I wanted to put a lighthouse back there. 
Uh, let me see. All right, you know what? Let's start working a little bit on the details. So now I'm going to start going with the number four round brush. Okay. All right. Now you remember when I did this, it was a I did a little bit darker than what I needed it. So, and the reason why is this, because now watch, I'm gonna add white, maybe a hint of Naples yellow, because like it's like in the evening. So I'm just gonna warm, it, warm up that white a little bit. Bring that to a nice point. Add a little bit of blue to this side because it's in shadow. Actually a little bit darker blue. Maybe a little bit of sienna. Maybe a little bit of warmth on this side. Maybe some bright white here. Okay, and let's pitch that deck a little bit here. See, let's make some stripes here. Remember to go with the curvature and don't just make straight lines because a lot of people have habits of just making straight line. You want to describe the cell, okay? And the cell is curb. And the lines kind of follow.
give it some numbers. Let's draw the guy in the back in here. Ultramarine blue. Burnt umber. The guys in shadow, they're not too big. Let's put a couple. Put a third guy right here. Let's put some uh, ripples that the cell's making, or not the cell, the sailboat's making. A little bit of yellow, a lot of white. We do the ripples in the back. Remember, the boat is in a is a V, so the the water in the back will split a little bit. Okay, you'll see a little bit of a split. So now, let's make some ripples. There's other sailboats we're gonna make eventually. So let me put a lot of white. And when I'm when I wipe it off like that, it just makes it that you know that star tail. There you go, nice. Just wipes off some big, small. Typically, if it's in the background, it's going to be small. There you go, and right back in it. Put a nice glob of paint. So now you can see that almost like that shining that's happening behind. Let's put some here.
me put one in front of the bow of the boat here just so I want to give it like go okay I'm not gonna try to overdo it here let's put a nice small sailboat in the background here like like the boat is far away just make a small sailboat let's make another one like a little dinghy back here somewhere and eh, maybe a small sail here too remember the further they are the the smaller the sail there you go Let me see if there's any un unanswered questions that you may have. Oh, thank you, Jada, that's right. Thank you. Thank you guys for the compliments. All right, so. Uh, let's, let's just add a lighthouse back there somewhere. It's not going to be very tall. I made like a really light blue, but I'm going to give it like there you go, a little. on reflection let's give it a a cap yeah, I didn't like that cap very much take a little bit of water wipe it off There you go. A little bit of the lantern right over here. Just like that. Boom. There. All under an hour. Woo! Let's, uh, let's see. I uh, feel like I'm missing one little f small detail. Guess you want to call that the boom two cabin windows uh, you know I could have done a I could go back over and make the sky darker but 
I kind of like it the way it is. And then we, this would come out even, even more, the colors here, if I went back over the sky. But I really don't want to ruin it. I kind of like it the way it is for now, you know, but you can't go back over. I mean, I could go back with oil paints and just go over this again. Um, but I think I'm happy with that, just the way it is. Let me put a burr somewhere. There you go. Little birds. All that's left is to sign my name. voila hope you guys enjoyed it it was a like i said the name of the video is fast and loose all right i gave you fast and loose right i mean uh i don't know how much more loose i could have gotten with this um so you see you don't really have to be you don't have to give too many details uh in a painting you gotta you gotta involve the viewer into your paintings okay you got to make them think a little bit you got to let them be able to tell their own story and let them use their own imagination uh when they're looking at the painting all right and that's what i like about impressionistic painting it gives the viewer room to make their own assumption and you know to finish the picture for you i guess right so now it's with an acrylics and uh, just shows you the possibility. There's many different styles you can paint. I can make this actually a little bit tighter uh, if I wanted to, but um, there really is no point. I mean, there's movement. Look at that. It, nothing is, everything is just loose. It's just a lot of movement. So and that's what I like. I like that feeling. So with that, folks, again, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. You're really helping me out with that and share this uh, video with a friend on social media you're really helping me out um thank you again for all your support and supporting my channel and i will have try to have more demos like that for you guys um uh you know as much as i can quick loose paintings all right you guys have a great evening have a great sunday and uh stay safe and uh hopefully all is good in uh in central florida right now with hurricane ian and i hope everybody's doing okay up there Still thinking about you. All right, guys. Have a great evening, and thank you again. Oh, if you have any comments, put them in the comments section, and I will try to answer them as quick as, uh, as I can for you, okay, as soon as this video loads up. All right. Thank you again. Bye.